before we get started, this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel, back at you with another G-Shock unboxing and review video. The one I'm wearing now on this hand is the Dark Cloud or Blue Sky, I should name it Blue Sky, it sounds more appealing. And this is a golf master, still wearing this piece, still awesome, I really like to view the barometer graph, very in balance and most very pretty change around my place. So if you guys have already watched the unboxing and review video for this specific model, you'll see that I had show you guys just a little bit a glimpse for a few seconds about this model over here. So today will be about this guy. So what's up with this piece over here? What's up with this? So it's kind of relating to this model as well. Again, from this model video, you can find out that this specific guy I'm wearing consists of three separate models combined to one G-Shock. However, um, what I want to show you guys now is more than three G-Shock watch. So, it's very hard for me to show you all the details because it's so tiny, you barely able to tell the difference. If you are already a veteran or you used to holding a lot of G-Shocks, you probably could tell all the tiny details just from this shot alone. It's that easy, of course, I have to show you guys the back plate as well, but yeah, from this shot alone, you'll know right away what model is that. Anyway, first of all, it's of course the metal bezel, it's fully modded, it's actually pure white colorway, just trying new things, it's pretty a failed attempt, there are a lot of dust uh, stick on it, I really need to make sure the place is actually clean before I start with all this process you know you can see a lot of dirt mark here and there white spot and dust stick on the watch pan it's totally failed attempt really need to wipe this all off by the way that is for the band and bezel just simple white colorway that was sprayed with what is metallic blue if I'm not mistaken and all the way to the hard case as well that's why you're seeing all blue no white hard case the actual hard case for this model is all black colorway and it was based on the Dilo 6900 FL, the Snake Killer 6900, which is very, very rare. And now let's have a look at the back plate. You can see that Dilo 069 G-Shock stainless steel back made in Malaysia, which is rare as well. So, well, Dilo 069 is consists of only like six to seven models. Not that hard to tell which one is which. And some will be made in Japan, some will be made in Malaysia. So the one I'm holding now is made in Malaysia. I found out mistaken, this is the blue, the dark blue version model, although they are just similar, but that is the model that was used in the making of this watch. Okay, this watch has a mirror face plate, which is not a lot of G-Shock have. I have another G-Shock that has similar mirror face plate over here, which already molded as well. You guys could tell this from the glance. More really for this in coming. Anyway, for this piece, mirror face plate, this mirror was based on the 100 MR G-Shock. If you look at the back plate, since they use a DW069 model with 1289 module, however, the engine itself is not 1289. And how do I know that? First thing that you should know is that the difference between 1289 engine and 3230 G-Shock is that 1289 calendar setup has will be maxed out at 2039. For this model, I already checked, it will max out at 20. 99 year 2099 so from that alone i could tell that the engine that was used in this g-shock is 3230 which is a brand new engine okay i think i already covered all the things you know about this model the watch band and bezel is all white model the band keeper is in pink if i'm not mistaken it's actually white that was dyed into pink with Kiasu Japan sign buckle, stainless steel standard, all of them are from the same 6900 series family, so that's why they could fit all the way nicely building into one single watch. It's still pretty sticky, by the way. So this is a failed attempt. I just want to show you guys some updates on modded G Shock. This is how you should mod your G Shock, not to copy design just mod it based on your preference based on your own idea and design your innovative idea of course please i hope you guys found this video useful and informative as well for your future reference leave a like and also subscribe for more g-shock related contents like all this in the future thank you very very much for watching guys this is g-shock half fashion channel and um